From Washington, D.C. tonight, where the big focus is President Trump's emergency declaration. He's using it to divert money for the border wall, but it's getting challenges from the ACLU and several states. CBS 17's Anna Warnicke joins us live from the nation's capital. And Anna, it sounds like Congress is also planning a challenge. That's absolutely right. Protesters I spoke with today actually outside of the White House uh, told me that the president should have never declared a national emergency in the first place because they say there is no emergency. Emergency! Hey! Emergency! Hey! Protesters gathered outside the White House on President's Day to rally against the president's national emergency declaration. It's completely ridiculous. I mean, you can see that this is not needed. This is our country. This is not what kind of, this is not what America is about. Ann Fondi says the president has gone too far by going around Congress to build his border wall. Congress has already decided where money gets appropriated. The president can't just decide because he didn't get what he wanted. President Trump says there is a crisis along the southern border. We have an invasion of drugs, invasion of gangs, invasion of people. We reject that completely and we demand Congress to do the same. Protesters say the president manufactured a fake crisis and they're calling on Congress to act. Connecticut Democratic Senator Richard Blumenthal is vowing a fight. This declaration of national emergency is an absolute sham and disgrace. It's an abuse of power, a seizure of authority from the United States Congress. Congress has the power to pass a resolution to rescind the national emergency, but the president could veto it. So Blumenthal says the best bet to stop the president is in court. The courts should act swiftly to strike down this declaration. Connecticut is one of several states planning to sue President Trump over the emergency declaration. And President Trump says he's prepared to fight it out. Sadly, we'll be sued, and sadly, uh, it'll go through a process, and happily, we'll win, I think. The American Civil Liberties Union says they plan to sue the president, uh, the Trump administration, over the president's emergency declaration in the next few days. Live in Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. Back to you.